But yeah, go. You were. Give me a second. Okay. No problem. Oh. Fucking, you know what? Anyway, um, so I asked a girl that gets on my bus in my second period. I'm like, hey, so do you know if the bus driver's gonna be here this afternoon, right? Am I glitching or no? No. Okay. Allie? What? Sorry? Alright, so I'm talking to this girl that's in my second period and she gets on my bus. Mm -hmm. And I ask her if the bus driver's gonna be here in the afternoon and she essentially just tells me no, he's not gonna be here. So then I start panicking and like, damn, how am I gonna get home? Quick enough, get my work uniform, and get back to work. Or get to work mm -hmm. on time. And so I'm just going throughout the fucking day. Uh third period I have that fucking annoying ass girl again in herself. And then, mm -hmm. We had a fucking black history program that sucked ass because it didn't make any fucking sense. Um, mm -hmm. Fourth period was alright. Fifth period I had an annoying friend that was like I usually have fun with, but today, like, since I was already in a bad mood, it was just even more annoying. Um, yeah. Much time was good, I got to talk to my crush all the time. Mm -hmm. Sixth period I got to chill because I don't do anything. Sixth period. Seventh period I had to deal with my annoying friends. No offense to them, I was just pissed that day. And I'm angry every time I think about it, but they're they're chill usually, but they're just yeah. Um So then school ends, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I go to the bus stop because I'm like, well, I, I gotta take the city bus home and then I just gotta get to work. I'm gonna be late, I know that, but at least I'm gonna be there. At a reasonable time, right? Bus mm -hmm. doesn't come for like twenty minutes. It's Bruh. so I'm like, fuck this shit. Walk to the library. That's like by my school. It's 355. I have to be at work at 4. Have my brother call an Uber. The Uber gets there. I get to work. I get home at like 415. I get dressed for work. I call another Uber. This Again, this dude's Uber. It smells like ass. Mm -hmm. So then I take 15 more minutes to get to work. I get to work at 430. I have a little chill work day until like nighttime. I, have, I want to say like 6 or 7 or something. And then this lady comes in the drive thru. And she's mm -hmm. like, hello, I like four parfaits, please. Now, mind you, this is my fourth day at this fucking job. So I'm like, mm -hmm. what did you say, ma'am? I'm sorry. And at the same time I said that, a girl that, like, works with me in drive through was laughing something of my coworker. But she was near me while I was saying, what did you say, ma'am? So I'm like, what did you say, ma'am? And my coworker laughs. And then, like, the lady goes silent, and then the whole thing goes silent. And when it goes silent, that means that it's never Whoever was there has moved. So I'm like, alright, maybe she pulled up. She pulls up to the window, right? I open the window. She's like, what's so funny? I'm like, I, I didn't laugh, man. She's like, do you know who I am? And at that oh, time, boy. God. So I'm just trying to tell this bitch, hey, yo, all I did was ask you what you ordered because I didn't under I didn't hear you. I didn't understand you. And she's like, mm -hmm. I wanted four parfaits. We need a four parfaits. And so I'm here for a four part phase. And then she's like, What's your name? And I have my name tag on, so I'm just like, Elijah. And then she's like, Okay. And so then she pulls up. I make her fucking four part phase. I don't spit in because I am a respectable person. <laughs> and then I give her her four part phase. Oh, yeah. And then she pulls the fuck off. And I'm like, Yeah, that's what you get, bitch. Yes. The, she, no, she, she didn't give me anything. She didn't give me anything. That sucks. Back. She was just Annoying. So then, um, workday proceeds as usual. I get home and then I vent to Alvin and Will for like the next hour. And also, Will got kicked off early for no reason. Like, Fucking oh. stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I could yeah. No, that was it. And then today I left my charger at work. And I got off work. That's it. At least I didn't have school. Left until 2 p.m. That was nice. Yeah. <sighs> I... No, you're all good. I didn't have a great day yesterday either, but that was kind of it. But it was. I sat someone down at the wrong table, and then my manager yelled at me, and that was so much fun to deal with.
so much. Why did you yell Because I sat someone down in the wrong seat, so we have oh, specific seating. Um, and, you know, if you get, like, they tell you their seat at the front, and then you go and sit them down. And I had just served G11, right? And then I uh, was serving, um, like, E1, right? And then I read it as E11, which are right next to each other, by the way, right? Just I based how, on, on how the seats are, are made, you know? Yeah. Or, or how they're... So my manager calls me over and she's like, hey, these people are really pissed now, and... Oh boy. Like, as... The the people that I fucked up the seating with are what we call season ticket holders, so... They're pretty fucking snobby, I'm not gonna lie. There's, there's like a very good mixture of people that are, you know, very, very nice, right? But, um... People who are season ticket holders are very, very well off in money because to get a season ticket it's about five hundred, six hundred dollars. Jesus. Um, yeah, but that's like for the whole season, so that's about five or six shows, including dinner for all of them, right? Oh, so how many shows happen in how many seasons? There's been fifteen seasons. Like, and like how, many? how much time? They're around a yearly basis. I don't know. I know oh, okay. Candlelight has been around for about 20 years. Oh, there's been um, 15 seasons in like the entire lifespan of the place? I think, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I'd have to ask. I thought it was but, like um, every year is like four seasons, you know, like something. No. But, uh, not um. So apparently those people were really fit. There's some people who are so outrageously rude for no fucking reason. And then there's shit going on with the ser servers, right? And I don't talk a lot at work, right? Um, so that, that's like a whole different issue in that matter. But um, I remember on my first day at work, uh, so we... We, we basically do a flip of the whole house, which is about um, 200, 300 seats, including a balcony, um, like tables. So we're flipping an entire restaurant in about a half an hour. Um, and your waiter's supposed to help, and um, waiters have had a tendency to do, um, like, to, to take their break during the flip their 30 minute break during the flip, so the busters have to do all the work. Uh, uh, and that happened to me on my first day. And, um, yeah. All the busters are cool, I'm just, yeah. Um, yeah, so I like my work, I like the people I work with. Just shit like that and people just peed me off so fucking much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you. If that's, I just hate the people that just like, bro, you're coming, like, honestly, I don't get how people can be disrespectful. Crap. Disrespectful to someone that they're getting to. Because I can't. Because I don't trust people. Like, for all I know, you can be wiping your ass with the food that I'm about to eat, and I would be none the wiser. Yeah. Probably. But, yeah. So, you know, I just... Sorry, go for it. My bad. I was just gonna say I hate people that just, like, are dicks for no reason. Like, that one lady. Oh, she knows who I am. No, bitch, I don't know who you are. Fuck out of here. Anyway, keep... No, it, what pisses me off even more is that the waiters treat the busters less. Like, what? they treat us, yeah. They they Don't treat us pretty like poorly. Don't try to have like be essentially the same job. Yeah. So we do shit waiters are doing while they're on stage, essentially. What? Yeah. So wait, a lot wait, of the wait, waiters. Wait, so while the show is going, sorry. 
so a lot of the waiters are actors in the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, we run food out, we run desserts out, we clean up tables, um, they take orders and pour drinks and run taps. Yeah. And then we roll linens, we do chores in the kitchen, um, we help flip the house, or basically do the house most of the time. And, uh... Yeah. Fuck. That's... Someone gave Jackson shit on his first day for not doing it right. There have been waiters who have been like, Oh, if you wait long enough... <laughs> um... If you wait long enough, then the busters will do all the work. And that's... We had to tell our manager. We had to sit our manager down in our break room and be like, "Hey, this shit isn't cool, right?" Because here's the thing: working at Candlelight, fucking dope. Love the people there. Love the kitchen staff. It's the waiters and then the customers, the right? Yeah. Like, there's this one bitch named Emily. She was just like, go, she's go, a waiter. Go, go. Sorry. She's just. No, you're all good. She was like, oh, sorry. Give me one sec. I'm about to get um, Oh yeah, you are. You're right there. <laughs> oh wow, he he really just sent you to the fucking shadow realm. I've been um, the the killer's been chasing me for the past since we started. Yeah. But um. Fuck. What was I talking about? Players versus monsters. Yeah. Emily. Yeah, oh yeah, this bitch named Emily, right? She... Is on. Yeah, essentially. Um, she's really rude. Really, really mean, for no fucking reason. Um, like the other day, in the waiter room, she's like, I can bully the busters because, um... I, I, I bust all the time. I'm like, congratulations for doing part of your fucking job. <laughs> congratulations for doing your job, you stupid bitch. <sighs> At my job, um, everybody's pretty chill. Come on, come on, come on. Like, I'm, I'm mostly friendly with everyone. Um, something funny that happened today. Like, I'm not mad about it or anything. Uh, it is kind of funny. So, there's this girl named Lauren, and I met her on my first day, but I haven't worked with her at all until today. And mm -hmm. she was working today, and I went up to her, and I was like, hey, your name's Lauren, right? And just to make sure, because, like, i only seen this girl once. And she's like, yeah. And so we, we start talking, and then more people come over, and then we're, like, talking about birthdays and shit, right? And there's a girl there, and uh, her name's mm -hmm. Lita. Mm -hmm. And Lita's birthday is also in August. Her birthday is a day after yours, Will? Nope. What? Twenty fifth. Yep. Um. And um, and Lawrence and my friend Nilo. I'm calling him my friends because we're chilling out with buds. Uh. His birth. Their both their birthdays are in September, so we're like cheering our zodiac signs and shit. And Lawrence like, let's get zodiac sign. And I'm like a Leo, and she's like, ew, like reflex on reflex, ew. And I'm like, bruh. What's wrong with Leo's, dog? Like, what, what did I, what did I do to you to deserve this injustice? Bro, I'm the astrology oh, no. space racism. <laughs> this dude is all my ass. She's like, I'm sorry. It's just Leo's are self-centered. I'm like, bro, I am literally. Okay. You are not self-centered. <laughs> like, I, I'll call you this dude. I'll be like, I'm built different. Nah, I have no self-esteem. Sorry. But anyways, um, for, for the most part, everyone's either like chill, I'm either cool with them, I'm really friendly with them, or we just like are so we're like, I know you type shit. Um, some people there, are, their first language is Spanish. Oh, nice. They can, I can't really talk to them. Because my Spanish is... Basura. But... Do you even know what Basura is? Well, no fucking clue. It's trash. I dropped Spanish after Spanish 2 in freshman year because I passed the C and only because of COVID. <laughs> I cheated. Um, oh, sorry. I <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You didn't I mean, hear that. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, nah, sorry. <laughs> nah, you heard that. Nah, I'll clip that, but uh, it won't, no one will have